Some relationships simply defy explanation. Here's CBS's Steve Hartman on the road at sea. It can be a lonely job, pulling lobster traps way out here in the middle of the Gulf of Maine. But for 15 years, Captain John Mikowski had company, a faithful companion. In fact, he says, maybe a little too faithful. She comes right up to the window and is looking at me this far away. I mean, <laughs> just, you know, just staring at me. You know? <laughs> John's stalker girlfriend, who he named Red Eye, showed up one day in 2005 and basically never left until a few months ago when Red Eye suffered a leg injury. John knew a seagull couldn't live long like that. How hard was it for him? Oh, very, very difficult. John's wife, Debbie. To watch John and how to see how sad he was, I could, I could tear up right now. I don't know why I was so emotionally crushed, but there was a piece missing. I was beginning to wonder how much longer I felt like doing this. So, in an attempt to save his passion for the sea, he tried to save that seagull actually caught her and brought her to the Center for Wildlife in Cape Nettick, Maine. The staff nursed Red Eye while John spoiled her with brown hake, her favorite kind of fish. And would you believe, just a few weeks later, Red Eye was good as new. Earlier this month, John released the bird back into the wild. Perfect. Of course, the wild was never really Red Eye's thing, which is why still today, no matter where John is in this great ocean, That's her. Red Eye somehow finds him. That a girl. For centuries, boat captains have believed seagulls carry the souls of lost sailors. And for this fourth generation lobsterman, that is a comforting thought, that maybe Red Eye is an ancestor looking out for him. But John says it's more about something far less mystical. It's about the purpose that is found whenever two living creatures truly need each other. Steve Hartman, on the road, in the Gulf of Maine.